The recognition of pyrrole disorder has become an integral part of my clinical practice, particularly the intimate connection between pyrrole disorder and chronic yeast infections. Pyroles are useless byproducts of hemoglobin synthesis. Some people genetically make too many pyroles. Excessive pyroles are excreted in the urine. The problem is that when they're excreted, they take out zinc and vitamin B6 with them. This means that people with pyrrole disorder become profoundly depleted in zinc and vitamin B6. Zinc, of course, is vitally important for the immune system, skin health, healthy hair, and testosterone production. But together with vitamin B6, they are cofactors for the production of the neurotransmitters serotonin, dopamine, and GABA. This means that people with pyrrole disorder can become depressed, anxious, fearful, and suffer mood swings. I see pyrrole disorder in many children with behavioral disorders. Zinc and B6 are also required for the production of metallothionines in the body. Metallothionines are how we excrete heavy metals from our bodies. So people with pyrrole disorder accumulate heavy metals, particularly copper and mercury. High levels of copper predispose to yeast infections, cause hormone imbalances, particularly PMS, postpartum depression, and endometriosis. Copper also makes new blood vessels grow, increasing the risk of cancer. Pyrrole disorder leads to low zinc and high copper, which predispose to yeast infections and cancer. Is it just me, or is there a pattern there?